Hey guys, how's it going? I'm JP. And I'm Hannah, aka The Wife. As you can see, we have a new tablecloth. <laughs> I hope you uh, like it. We thought it might be a bit more fitting for uh, what we're doing. And today, we're coming back at you with our first vintage ration. It's a German pilot's emergency survival ration. Or Notration Verpflegung, as it says. It's not very big, as you can see, by my hand, although I am a gigantic person. Yeah, here's my normal human hand for scale. Yeah, Hannah is normal person size. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's NATO approved. And it was made in 1987. The year before I was born. So it means it's 33 years old? Yeah. So this ration would be used in an emergency situation where no other food is available. For example, if you have to eject and use your parachute in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, in crash landings and maybe in water. Waiting for rescue, yeah. basically. Yeah, it's very versatile, very basic. Okay. Let's check it out, because it's got some interesting stuff written on the packaging. Ooh. Let's see. What have we got? say? Well, this one shows you a bit of the contents list. Concentrated food. Instant tea. Water treatment tablets. It's also got it in, obviously, German and French. German there, French there. On this side. Oh, yeah, you already saw. Hergestellt, yeah. Yeah, made. Made, made in, in 1987. 1987. And on this side, it says, The emergency ration appeases your hunger and preserves efficiency when, throughout the day, you repeatedly allow some small pieces, one by one, to dissolve in your mouth. It's an interesting translation. That's that's some beautiful German wording right there. <laughs> um, and believe me, the German and the French, yeah, they do translate basically the same. Cool. It was made by Compact AS, based in Bergen in Norway. Well, on the back is basically the directions for the water purification tablets. And it says use only when impossible to boil water and you take two tablets in one litre of water and you have to shake it up frequently and remember to allow the mixture to react for 20 minutes before you even think of drinking that much chlorine. <laughs> it needs time to settle. Mm, indeed. Okay, let's get this baby open. Right, and because it is a vintage ration, I'm going to open it a bit nicer than the other ones because it'd be nice to keep the box for display purposes. Some foil wrapped stuffs. Shiny. Let's take a quick sniff. Doesn't really smell of much. Maybe just old. Let me try with my mum nose. Okay. See, I'm getting a slight kind of stale cereal box smell, but it is very faint. Cool. Right. Let's see. The tip out is. Ooh. Let's put that there. Right. So we got our tea extract on the top there. Oh, it's like we glued. Oh, and some water purification tablets. Nice. 
See if we can get these unstuck without ripping the packet. Mm. Yep. Hey. <clears throat> Nicely done. Yeah, also says made in 1987. And that this sachet is for three cups. Cool. Anything on the back? Nope. Put that over there. And we got the water purification tablets. Also stuck on that glue. Also stuck on the glue, yeah. <laughs> oh, That's that tough stuff. Well stuck on there. <laughs> well, at least you're not gonna lose them. See that. Two tablets for one litre, I'm assuming. Yes. Two tablets in one litre of water, 20 minutes that you have to wait before drinking. Mm -hmm. So as I got something on the other side. Yeah, water purification tablets, chlor, chlorine most likely. Oh, cool. So you got four of them. Nice. Right, let's have a look. Cool, check that out. Mm. Bit of foil wrapping. Yeah. That's it. That's all that's in there. Okay, time to mix up the drink. Our tea extract. Have a go at. Tearing the perforation down the middle, hopefully it works. Yeah, it's quite good. Nice. I'll put that one onto one side. Thank you. Right. We've guessed, as it says, for three cups. We're guessing around 250 mil a measurement. Per so, cup. Per cup. So we're going to give it 750 mil of water. One massive jug of water. Right. Give that a little shake. Yeah, it feels doesn't feel all clumpy or anything, so hopefully it'll be alright. Just check it out. It's like it's plastic lined on the inside. That's Hopefully that's kept it a bit fresher. Indeed. 33 year old tea. Mmm. Don't really see much in there. Let's give it a smell. It doesn't really smell like tea. Kind of old and musty. Yeah, kind of musty, dusty. It smells old. Yeah. I'm still gonna try it for science. For science. For science. Right, let's tip that in there. Oh yeah, it is still powdered. Make sure we got all that in there. It looks so pretty as it's all kind of marbling out, doesn't it? It kind of looks like coffee. It does. <laughs> Give that a stir. Looks like it's dissolving quite nicely. Yeah, looks good to me. Mm. Give that another smell. Oh, that smells better. That smells loads better. <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to pass it to you. It's gigantic. Yep. <laughs> That smells quite nice. Okay, yeah, now it smells like tea. Now that it's been rehydrated. Nah, it's got a good colour to it. Yeah. It's quite cool. Shall I do the honours? Yeah. Okay. One for you. A little bit for me, because I'm not as fond of tea. Okay. 
time to open the food packet. Yeah. Right, so as not to hurt the lovely writing, open it from the back. It's a tear notch here. Let's see how easy it is to open. Oh, it's squeaking. It's got plastic in there too. Whoa. Cool. Open nicely down the side. <laughs> Have a quick smell. Again, I, I really can't smell much. Yeah, now it smells like cereal. Okay, must just be my sense of smell today. Yeah. Right. It's, I don't know, like dusty Cheerios. It's like I'm going to have to take these out. Cool. Looks like they are all stuck together. Ooh. It's like they're just coated in this kind of plastic film. Let's slit it there. Get one of the bars out. Okay, it looks like it's wrapped in this kind of wax paper, maybe kind of baking paper style stuff. Yeah, see the combination of that kind of plastic sleeve and the foil and the waxed paper would all go to help making it waterproof if you did have to ditch out in water. Indeed. Alright, let's see if I can get into this. Oh, there we go. Ooh, so we got two compressed bars. Oh, ripped it. Yeah, they look a bit like old school bath cubes. <laughs> right, let's give it a smell now it's in the packet. Oh. You see what I mean about cereal yeah, now? Yeah, I can definitely smell it better now. Mmm. Okay. It smells nice. Yeah. When we were doing our research on this, we found that apparently, and understandably, troops would get bored of just nibbling on these dry. And who can blame them? You might want something that feels more like a real meal. So what you can do is crumble them up. Let me get another one of these. Crumble it. Oh, that is very, very crumbly. Crumble it up into a nice powder. Going everywhere. <laughs> That's because it's so compressed. Well, you wouldn't think there was so much in there. Well, and we'll add a bit of water to that and see what we get. Yeah, the aim is to make it like a porridge. Add a bit more. Yeah, that's not too much. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Cool. We'll let that absorb a little bit. Cool. <laughs> okay. Time to give tasting. Can't wait. <laughs> right, we thought we'd give it a go. 
so you could actually see in block form all right let's go cheers mm. <laughs> grumbling mm. everywhere crumbly mm. ah so it did say to let it dissolve on your tongue when when I just chewed into that, it was like biting a mouthful of grit. <laughs> Very much so. I literally felt it on your teeth like that. <laughs> it's like it's like eating a a massive digestive biscuit, kind of sweet. Yeah. Hmm. I'd quite happily eat that. <laughs> Maybe if it wasn't older than me. If it was fresh, then I'm, yeah. I'm, I like it. I'm, I'm weird like that though. Ugh. I'm going to have another bit. I will do because I took such a like mouse bite of it before. Mm. Mm. Gritty. Very grainy. Hmm. Kind of like. Really fine cornflakes. Like when you're at the beach and accidentally get a mouthful of sand. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet sand. With a hint of cereal. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you want to try this tea, love? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I don't even like tea. Mm. Wow, that's bland. Yeah, kind of boring. There's no sweetness to it at all. I'd say it's... <laughs> It's trying to be a little bit floral. Yeah, it kind of tastes more like a herbal tea. Yeah. Than real tea. Yeah, there's a, there's a slight hint of tea. Of <laughs> <laughs> tea kind of floralness. Hmm. Nothing amazing though. I suppose it kind of takes away the flavour of water. Yeah. I suppose they they'd have chlorinated water and anything to take that taste away. Yeah. I mean you would be thankful for it in an emergency situation. Indeed. Rather than starving. Mm, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Mm. Right. But, wow. <laughs> Let's try this kind of porridge like substance. I'm just gonna like tell myself it's cookie dough. Yeah, I mean, well. The way it's absorbed all of the water, it looks a bit like cookie dough. Yeah, I don't know whether you could see by the way the spoon was standing up in it there, it's a bit solid. Yeah. It could definitely take more water than you put in. I'm gonna try a, a big old glob there. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Well. <laughs> What can I say? <laughs> it's just like... Okay, it's like that, but wet. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, it's not gritty anymore, so yeah. that's a plus. The grittiness is gone, <laughs> but in terms of flavour, it hasn't really changed it a lot. Nope. Oh my goodness. I mean, sometimes when you add water to things, like rehydrating stuff, 
sometimes the flavour changes. Yeah, but that hasn't... That hasn't made it any better. But I imagine if you'd have to live off of this for like a couple of days... Oh man. It really is an emergency ration. Yeah. Then, I don't know, you try every way to change it in some sort of way maybe even like turn it into a soup yeah just for a different variation i don't know maybe hmm. i don't know let's dunk it in the tea yeah, give it a go try and rehydrate a bit in the tea to see if that tastes any better probably won't Mm. Chin chin. Dude. I've got floaty <laughs> bits of my tea now. Damn. But yeah, this tea could really do with. Well, this ration could really do with some sugar. It really could. To go with the four blocks or four bars of these food cubes and yeah six mugs of tea right mm. okay yeah that's everything in there i guess that wraps it up yeah for this ration yeah time to go get some real dinner indeed well that was an interesting experience well it was certainly the first time i've eaten something older than i am me too. Well, it wasn't older than me, but... Older than me. It's the oldest thing I've ever eaten. So far. So far. Dun dun dun. <laughs> 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 okay, right. If you like that video, then let us know by hitting the like button. And be sure to subscribe by clicking that button there. Leave us any comments or questions below and click the little bell icon if you want to get a notification every time we post a new video. And make sure to share with your friends. Cheers. Bye. Bye.